All right, guys, so today we're going to build a bag filter. Um, whether you build the, the ammo box filter or you have an M1 base or M1 standard or even uh, an M1 U, if you bought the units without the, the piggyback filter, then you'll need to uh, produce a, a DIY filter. So this is going to be a, a solution for that, a simple uh, DIY no weld uh, filter that you know anybody can build as long as you can drill drill some holes um, and use uh, just basic hand tools so basically what I got is a five gallon bucket it's got stuff in it actually a steel lid and it did come with this but we're not going to use this do not use this on this we're going to put some spring-loaded latching latches on here, um, so this will uh, really relieve any pressure from uh, you know if you ever in a counter uh, pop back, um, the lid can pop and release that pressure without you know blowing off the off the unit. Um, we have a, a flange here. This is a duct flange. Um, you can get these from Mastercard or Granger. Um, possibly uh, Amazon, eBay. So this is going to bolt on like so. And that gives us a, a lip to attach our bag to. Alright, so we'll have to drill some holes to mount that and then uh, we'll seal it. And then you'll need an inlet and an outlet port. So one of these will go in the center and that's where the gas will come in, pull through the bag and then out. And then we'll have a, a port at the bottom. Again, these are, um, you can get these at MasterCard, you know, eBay, Amazon, um, possibly a local hardware store might have them. It's just a one inch MPT uh, uh, flange. So um, that's basically it. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out my holes, bolt this on to the bottom, Drill my holes for this, um, center punch for, cut a hole for the, uh, the port opening. Mount that, and then I'll mount this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll come back, and then, uh, then we'll move on to building the bag filter. Okay, so this is what it looks like when that part's done. Um, we got our flange installed. We can install our bag on here and use a clamp, sort of like a shop vac. And then here's our port adapter for the inlet. So this will set on top. So now, next we'll uh, install our, our pull latches. So basically I'm gonna lay that out and I'm gonna put these so that this shoulder is just underneath um, the lip of the bucket. So I'm gonna about roughly right there where, where that'll land. And that'll give me enough travel to, to pull it off, plus uh, give it some travel for to relieve any pressure in, in, in the event of a top bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that, and then, uh, and then we'll move on to the bag. Okay, so I have the latches installed. So these will just pop off like that, remove the lid, service your filter. Okay. Now how I located these, I first installed this one and installed it just in between the two uh, where the, the handle mounts to the bucket and then I installed the lid and I use the bolt pattern of the, the bigger flange. It's a six hole pattern. I'm using three, so uh, I got six holes. Uh, three to, six is divisible by three. So I just used uh, <clears throat> these three bolt holes to uh, align the, uh, the latches. Okay, now, 
One last thing is uh, I'm gonna mount this guy on and again I think I'm gonna use this for the alignment for that and that'll be the output. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. Okay, all right, so I have the, uh, the lower part installed and the, the, uh, the plugs for the hose connector. Um, so I hit, hit them with, uh, with some paint. Um, so now we're gonna set this aside and begin building the bag hook. So I'm gonna need this lid. So I'm gonna set the bucket aside or filter housing now. Okay, now you have a you know a number of options for to create a bag filter. You could use a felt. A felt. Um, this is actually what it's for. It's it's for filtration. Um, you could use this, um, or if you're gonna go in hot, then I would suggest using a silica cloth. This is a little bit more expensive, but this is ceramic. And this will handle 1800 degrees and it is uh, chemical resistant um, the felt filter felt is also chemical resistant but it cannot um, withstand uh, high temperature it's about 200 degrees is about the max so if you're gonna go in hot hotter than that then you pretty much want to gonna use this which is gonna be the case for for, for this build so I'm gonna set this aside um, now the filter felt is pretty good uh, material for the, the final filter. Um, it does filter at a finer um, grade, uh, I guess. So um, let's get to working on this here. So the first thing we need to know is this diameter. We're going to um, figure out the diameter and then times that by pi. And that'll give us our circumference. So it's roughly, I'm going to say six and a half. That gives me a little wiggle room. So that will get us. So it's a circumference of 20 and a half inches. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two inches to create my seam. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this around. I use the table kind of as a guide. Alright, so I'm gonna need to find a tape measure. So I'm going to go 22 and a half. And the other thing about this, this fabric here is uh, it's not very resistant to um, abrasion. Um, it can tear pretty, pretty easily and not real easy, but it's uh, a lot easier than uh, the felt. We'll just put it that. But as long as you, uh, you know, you don't tear it, um, it'll be fine. Okay, so.
Okay, so now I gotta get the height. <clears throat> so we'll get a measurement on that. So the bucket's 13 inches tall. So I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go 12 inches. So I'll mark that out. Actually, no, I'm gonna go 14. I forgot about this. There's a seam on the bottom too. So you gotta add that and then uh, if you want to hem the top, um, you may want to add an inch for that as well. I'm gonna cut that off. <coughs> All right. So we'll set that aside for later projects. Okay, so before I begin making the steam, what I'm going to do to make life easier is uh, I'm going to spray this with some con contact cement all the way around the border, and then I can stick this together um, before I staple it. So I'm going to do that. If I can find the spray, and then uh, there it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the. Uh, actually, I'm gonna make this the uh, the bottom hem or the bottom seam. I'm not going to worry about the top yet. Alright, so I'm going to let that set up and then uh, we'll come back. Alright, so this should be set up. I'm going to find a chair. And a stapler. A marker and the straight edge. Start out with the edge. So that kind of helps keeping this thing together. <clears throat> and then what I like to do is uh. I have a line to follow. Alright. So now I'm going to staple my seam. This is a packaging stapler. These are heavy duty staples. These aren't like a paper, paper stapler. These are um, you know, good thick staples. I don't know if they had, if you can get them in stainless, but if you can, I, that would be what I would use. I haven't found them yet, but if I do, that's what I will be using. So I'm just following my line. I showed you the amount that I showed you was about thirty dollar or no the I think that's like five bucks a yard square yard and then 
this stuff here is like thirty dollars uh, a yard. But you know, that's probably four or five filters that you can make out of that thirty dollar. Okay, so now I could hem the, uh, the top, which I think I'm going to do. I'm gonna... Put my seam to the, or the hem to the inside. So we'll let that uh, dry a minute. And then we'll come back and I'll uh, staple that up. Alright, so that's cured. And as you can see, I just rolled that over to the inside. So now I'm going to staple around that. Actually, you don't really even need to do that. Um, once you clamp this and use it, it you don't really need to staple it. So I'm not going to actually do that. So if I've done this right, let's hit the down one. ready to rock. So let's set this down in there. Uh, now to service this, you just loosen the band clamp, pull the bag off, and you can clean it. And make a new one. Um, you should be able to clean this. It should last, uh, you know, quite a while. Um, I haven't seen one fail yet, so um, should last you a good long time. So it's a good investment for uh, for what that cost. All right. So next video we'll uh, be showing it in action. All right. Thanks for watching.